SureTriggers is a powerful automation platform that helps you connect your various plugins and apps together. It allows you to automate repetitive tasks so you can focus on more important work. SureTriggers features over 200 integrations, and MainWP is one of them. That means you can set up various kinds of workflows to automate MainWP functionality. Some examples include automatically adding relevant information to a Google Sheet after a new child site is added, or suspending a site after a contact form is submitted. In this video, we will cover three scenarios. One, where a paying client submits a form through their WooCommerce My Account page in order to add their site to your main WP dashboard. Two, we will cover the situation where one of your paying clients cancels their subscription for the maintenance package, after which SureTriggers automatically suspends their child sites on your main WP dashboard. And three, we will show how to unsuspend a child site when your client renews their subscription for a maintenance package. For this, we will use two WordPress sites. One site will be where the main WP dashboard is installed, and the other will be where WooCommerce and SureTriggers will be set up to collect form submissions. SureTriggers interacts with the main WP dashboard using the REST API. So the only thing we have to do on the main WP dashboard site is create an API key and give it all permissions. Make sure to save the consumer key in secret. We will use it to connect the dashboard to the SureTriggers plugin. That's all that we have to do on the dashboard site. So let's now move on to the other WordPress site. We will assume that you already have your SureTriggers account created and the WooCommerce plugin configured on this WordPress site. Let's now install the SureTriggers plugin. After activating it, we'll click the Get Started Now button. We have one last step, and that is to connect the plugin with our SureTriggers account by clicking Authorize and Continue. It will then take you back to your WordPress site, and you can now see the SureTriggers dashboard. Let's now connect our main WP dashboard to SureTriggers. Click on Apps. Here, you will see the connection to the WordPress site we're currently on. Now click on Add New Connections. Here, you can see a list of apps and services that you can connect. Search for Main WP and click on the Main WP icon. New browser tab will open and a form will open where you can type in the required Main WP dashboard information. Give it a unique and memorable title, then the URL of your dashboard, and then the consumer key and consumer secret that you saved earlier, and click the Connect Main WP button. You have now connected the Main WP dashboard to SureTriggers and a new connection is now visible in the SureTriggers plugin. The next step is to install and configure a contact form plugin, which we will use to collect the necessary information to add a site to the main WP dashboard. Our contact form plugin of choice is WS Form. But keep in mind that many other contact forms plugins are also supported by SureTriggers. Let's search for the WS Forms plugin, install and activate it, now let's create a contact form. We'll use a blank template. We will give the contact form a descriptive title and start adding the fields. We need three pieces of information for adding a child site to the main WP dashboard. First is the site URL. So let's add a field and make it required. Next is the admin username of the child site. And the last field is the site title. Finally, we add the submit button and publish the form. We've inserted the form shortcode in the WooCommerce's PHP file, but you can insert it in any way you wish. The reason we chose the WooCommerce My Account page is to avoid making the form publicly accessible. The last piece of the puzzle is creating a workflow that will link the form with the main WP dashboard. Navigate to Sure Triggers and then Workflows. Give the workflow a name and click Start Building. First, we have to set up a trigger. Click the Add Trigger button and now we'll select an app from which this trigger is going to come from. In our case, that's going to be WS Forms. 
Then we have to choose the event. Here we only have the form submitted event, so let's move to the connections. Here you will see a list of all connected WordPress sites. Select the desired site, and then from the dropdown, select the contact form you've created in your contact form plugin. We'll select the add new site form that we just created. Now, we'll make a sample form submission so the sure triggers can see what data it should expect from that contact form. We'll navigate to our other tab where we have the WooCommerce My Account page open, fill out the form, and submit. When we navigate back to our sure triggers tab, we can see that it has successfully fetched the information we just submitted. Trigger is now set up, so let's click the Save button. Now, we're going to set an action. The way we do that is by clicking the plus icon. The action is going to be adding a site on the main WP dashboard. So let's search for main WP and click on the icon. Here, we will select the event, add new site. Next step is selecting the connection. In this dropdown, we see the main WP dashboard we connected earlier using the REST API. So let's select that. Finally, we have to match the information that's going to be submitted in the contact form to the appropriate main WP data fields necessary to add a child site. Simply type in the at symbol and choose the relevant data point from the dropdown. Repeat that process for all three data fields and finally click save. Now that the, both the trigger and the action has been configured, click the Publish button. We have completely configured Sure Triggers, so let's test it out and see how it works in action. We have prepared an empty WordPress site that we will add to the dashboard using the form. We've installed and activated the main WP Child plugin, so the site is ready to be added to the dashboard. Let's fill out the form with the necessary information and submit the form. Now we'll navigate to our main WP dashboard and refresh the Manage Sites page. And there we have it. The child site has been successfully added to our main WP dashboard. We're now finished with the first scenario, so let's move on to the second where we will show how to suspend the child site after a client cancels their subscription for the maintenance package. Let's start building the new workflow for suspending child sites. Navigate to Sure Triggers on your WooCommerce site and click on the Create Workflow button. Give the workflow a name and click Start Building. First, we have to set up a trigger. Click the Add Trigger button, and now we'll select an app from which this trigger is going to come from. In our case, that's going to be WooCommerce Subscriptions. Then we choose the event, User Cancel Subscription. Let's move on to Connections. Here, you will see a list of all connected WordPress sites. We have only connected this one where the WooCommerce is configured, so let's select it. Now, we're going to select the WooCommerce subscription product that we want to watch for cancellations. Now, we'll make a sample subscription cancellation so the Sure Triggers can see what data it should expect when it happens in the future. We'll navigate to a different tab where we have our WooCommerce dashboard open. We'll navigate to My Subscriptions tab and request a cancellation. And now we will confirm that cancellation in the WooCommerce Subscriptions backend. We can now see that SureTriggers has detected the example cancellation and fetched the related data, as seen here. Trigger is now set up, so let's click the Save button. In order to actually be able to suspend a site at the end of this workflow, we need the ID of that site from our main WP dashboard and we also need to attach that ID to the WooCommerce subscriber. First, let's grab an ID of a child site from our main WP dashboard. The easiest way to find an ID is to look at the end of a URL for a child site dashboard. In this case, the ID is 47. To attach this ID to a WooCommerce subscriber, we need to add a new field to the user's metadata. We've chosen to add this field using a code snippet, but this can also be accomplished by numerous plugins. Let's now open the profile of a WooCommerce subscriber. Here's the new metadata field that we created, so let's enter the ID of the child site. This is the child site that's going to be suspended when the user cancels the subscription. Now let's continue making our workflow. The next step is to add an action that collects user metadata. 
click the plus icon and search for WordPress. From the Select Event drop-down, we'll choose Find User Meta. From Connections, we again choose this WordPress site with WooCommerce installed. The following field is User Email. To find an email of the user that made the example cancellation, type in the at symbol and find the user login entry in the list. Let's test this action to see if the user metadata, including our new field for the child site ID, is showing correctly. All metadata seems to be here, including the field we created. So let's click Save and continue to the final step. Again, we click the plus icon, and here we're going to search for MainWP. From the Select Event dropdown, we're going to select Suspend Site. And in the Select Connection dropdown, we're going to select the main WP dashboard that we connected using REST API to Sure Triggers. Finally, in the Enter Site ID field, we'll type in the at symbol to see the list of all data fetched in the previous actions. Here we are interested in the WordPress metadata, specifically the child site ID that we created. So let's find that and select it. Now to test that the entire workflow is working correctly, we'll test this final action and see if the site actually gets suspended. The response looks good, so let's verify it on our main WP dashboard. Let's refresh the Manage Sites table. And here it is. The relevant child site got suspended, which means that the workflow is working as intended. So let's go back to our workflow, make a final save, and publish it. That's it for the second scenario, so let's move to the third. We will now show how to unsuspend a child site when your client renews their subscription for a maintenance package. Let's now start building our SureTriggers Unsuspend workflow. Navigate to SureTriggers on your WooCommerce site and click on the Create Workflow button. Give the workflow a name and click Start Building. First, we have to set up a trigger. Click the Add Trigger button and now we'll select an app from which this trigger is going to come from. For this workflow, that's going to be WooCommerce Subscriptions. Then, we choose the event. User Renews Subscription. Let's move on to Connections. Here, you will see a list of all connected WordPress sites. We have only connected this one where the WooCommerce is configured, so let's select it. Now, we're going to select the WooCommerce subscription product that we want to watch for renewals. Now, we'll make a sample subscription renewal so the sure triggers can see what data it should expect when it happens in the future. We'll navigate to a different tab where we have the WooCommerce subscription open and we'll create a renewal order. Then, on the orders page, we will mark it as completed. Let's now navigate back to the Sure Triggers tab. We can see that Sure Triggers has detected the example renewal and fetched the related data. In the second video, we've created a new field in user metadata where we entered the child site ID of this subscriber. We've used that ID to suspend the site in that second video, and we will also use it now to unsuspend it. So let's add a new action that collects user metadata. Click the plus icon and search for WordPress. From the Select Event dropdown, we'll choose Find User Meta. From Connections, we again choose this WordPress site with WooCommerce installed. The following field is User Email. To find the email of the user for which we made the example renewal, type in the at symbol and find the user login entry in the list. Let's click the Test Action button to see if the user metadata, including our custom field for the child site ID, is showing correctly. All metadata seems to be here, including the field we created, so let's click Save and continue to the final step. Again, we click the plus icon, and here we're going to search for main WP. From the Select Event dropdown, we're going to select Unsuspend Site. And in the Select Connection dropdown, we're going to select the main WP dashboard that we connected using REST API to Sure Triggers. Finally, in the Enter Site ID field, we'll type in the at symbol to see the list of all data fetched in the previous actions. Here we're looking for the child site ID that we'll use to unsuspend sites. Let's select it. To test that the entire workflow behaves correctly, we'll test this final action and see if the site gets unsuspended on our dashboard. The response looks good, so let's verify it on our main WP dashboard. We'll refresh the Manage Sites page, and we can see that the child site got unsuspended. 
Our workflow is working as intended. Let's go back to our Sure Triggers tab, make a final save and publish it. And that's the third and final scenario done. These are just a few possible scenarios out of many. MainWP integration supports one trigger, which is new site connected and five actions. Add new site, disconnect site, remove site, suspend site, unsuspend site. Considering that the Sure Trigger supports more than 200 integrations in total, the possibilities are truly limitless. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more updates from MainWP.